Chris Pratt seems to be one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. We met him first in Parks and Recreation in a role of Andy Dwyer, dim-witted and guileless and a real idiot, but lovable. And his role as Star-Lord in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy made him an A-list box office draw. But it has always been Pratt's humor and humility that made him the darling of audiences everywhere. What's not to like about Chris Pratt? When he was young he worked as a waiter and was so broke, he had to eat the leftovers from his restaurant's customers. Now he is one of the biggest celebrities in Hollywood. This is a guy who has paid his dues and earned his success, while being as nice and charming as possible about it. It starts with, one tweet. In 2019 after Chris Pratt appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and talked about his religious side, he got slammed by Ellen Page. The church who he is associate with, Hillsong Church was called infamously anti-LGBTQ. The reason for this criticism was statement of two church executives, which condemned homosexuality. Pratt responded, nothing could be further from the truth. He explained how he found support in Hillsong Church after his divorce with Anna Faris, instead of being judged. One has to go. In 2020, again the starter was a tweet. It was nothing more than a light-hearted joke, but the poll results sparked a meme. Out of the four famous crises, Pratt has become known as the worst Chris, which snowballed into a soft cancellation. As a result of several of Pratt's MCU co-stars spoke out in his defense, which prompted further criticism, considering that none of them, with the exception of Don Cheadle, spoke out against Brie Larson's backlash, which was significantly more spiteful. Let's not involve politics. The fact that Pratt didn't attend a virtual fundraiser for Joe Biden's presidential campaign, attended by his fellow Avengers stars, together with that he is known for his faith, was enough for some to assume his political views. Instead of not showing any support for Trump, he was marked as a Trump supporter by some public figures. Other thing that might be linking Chris Pratt to that political views is a t-shirt featuring the Gadsden flag, which features an image of a rattlesnake and the words don't tread on me. People started to tweet about canceling him. If we go back to one has to go, we can see that a lot of people stated, they voted against Chris Pratt and not like him anymore, because he was marked as a Trump supporter. On the other hand, Pratt wasn't the only missing Avenger, Brie Larson was also absent. Back in 2012, CNN reported that Chris Pratt donated money to Barack Obama's campaign. I don't feel represented by either side, he told Men's Fitness magazine in 2017. I really feel there's common ground out there that's missed because we focus on the things that separate us. Pratt vs. Cat After all of that, Pratt has been demonized for, um, giving away his cat. As he became father, Pratt reckoned that keeping his elderly, incontinent cat in the same house as a baby wasn't a good idea, and gave the cat away to a stranger he found through Twitter. No Chris has to go. Chris Pratt is being called cringe and vile for praising his wife, Katherine Schwarzenegger, for giving him a healthy daughter. On Thursday, Pratt, 42, decided to write his wife a birthday tribute post, to share their happiness with the world. He captioned a photo of him and Schwarzenegger. She's given me an amazing life, a gorgeous healthy daughter. She chews so loudly that sometimes I put in my earbuds to drown it out, but that's love. I love Chris Pratt, but the healthy daughter part has made me wince, one person tweeted Thursday. Although he may not have meant it as an insult, it sort of came off that way. Imagine how that will make his son feel, if he ever reads it. Another posted, Chris Pratt has a kid with Anna Ferris who suffered a cerebral hemorrhage during birth and now has slight physical disabilities because of it. But he made sure to write healthy daughter here. Chris Pratt is a DCK. I knew him in the before times, I don't know him now. Busy Phillips dished on the episode of her Busy Phillips is doing her best podcast, while discussing the recent controversy surrounding the parks and recreation Alan. Holy S, T. Either like you're the dumbest moth F, cur on earth, or you're a real righteous A, whole, she said alleging that when they previously hung out, he drank a lot. People are understandably curious about what Anna Ferris has to say about this whole situation. So far, we haven't heard from her or from Chris Pratt. Well, Chris just shared how he is feeling about one of the happiest events in his life, but social media hasn't been happy with Chris Pratt for a while. Being mean is so yesterday. No Chris has to go, everyone stays and has his own fan base. Thank you for watching, hit the subscribe button for more burning ears.